Knowledge Action Network to me is a place where you convene different stakeholders including scientists to come uh, share ideas. It's a marketplace of ideas for action. It's not uh, research for action, it's research in action. While we, we try the requirement to respond to the societal need and the environmental need. So one of the really exciting things that Future Earth as an initiative is developing is something called Knowledge Action Networks, which I find particularly exciting because they are networks they're not projects, they're, they're bigger than projects and they're bringing together ways that scientists and societal partners can think about and address the challenges that society faces. It brings together the academic expertise, the research expertise of the, of the uh, natural science community, of the social science community together with other stakeholders in fields like local government and media and business and uh, technology. We're starting from the point of what societal needs are, so that societal actors, whether that's government and NGOs, civil society, are framing what the issues are, what their needs are, and what, what we think the big challenges are that can be addressed. So the Knowledge Action Network is trying to improve um, the way science is used um, by stakeholders, Science is used by private sectors, by the citizens, it's trying to have them all to conquer in one objective, which is sustainability. I think to me what really is exciting to work in this urban space is that um, cities are really having enormous sort of potential for, for, for change um, towards sustainability. And if you look at cities um, around the world, many of them are really proactively taking action and they're trying to um, do something, do things in a different way, in a more innovative sort of way. Health is a huge, huge area, and especially in the context of global environmental change, there's so much going on. You know, we have air pollution, we have uh, pandemics and, and pandemic threats. In a lot of cases, these are growing, growing threats and growing um, threats both to human health, but also to our economies and just, you know, trade and travel systems. I think the Oceans Knowledge Action Network has a huge potential to help advanced scientific research, not just on the physical processes, which we need to understand if we're going to you know, uh, manage the oceans sustainably, but also the human processes that are now really greatly affecting all the oceans and all the animals and people who depend on them.